Hi, welcome back. In this video we're going to be making our characters interactive and that means when our audience mouse or click on a character they're going to speak or they're going to do something. So the pirate here is not interactive, neither is the unicorn. The goat we've programmed using a path but as we move forwards you can see that when we mouse over a character they will give directions and they will speak. So this is what we're going for. We can even have it that if you want to have a video, if the audience clicks on that video, then the video will play. So let's click back and we're going to go into create mode and you can see in the top right hand corner it says code. So these are the various scripts that I've got and let's have a go at programming a new character. So let's take casual boy for example, let's pull him out here. And first of all, I need to double click on him to get the inspector. So I'm going to double tap and I'm going to flip the switch that says use in code blocks. You must do this, it's very important. And I'm also going to show his name and it's Casual Boy 1. I need to remember that because when I'm choosing which item to program, I'm going to need that. And let's have him doing something. Um, let's see, what should we have? So I'm going to get him to clap. So he's going to be clapping all the time. I haven't done any programming yet. And you'll see that as soon as the audience press play, or the, the participant, he's just going to be clapping. And I'm going to turn him slightly sideways on. So he's looking at the person when they start. Now this is where we make him interactive. So I've started a new script in Coblox. I'm going to rename it. And I'm going to call him Casual Boy. And here I made a mistake. I should have called him Casual Boy 1. But that's okay, and you'll see where I make my mistake later. So I've now got an event when play is clicked, and I want something to happen. So we want an event. We said it was going to be interactive, so when the casual boy is clicked, or when the casual boy is hovered over, that is when something's going to happen. So we're going to choose this, and it says casual boy, but our boy is actually casual boy 1 and set animation so we could animate him and we're going to get him to do something so he's clapping at the moment so we need to get him to do something different let's get him to cheer and also let's get him to say something what should we get him to say so we've got him to do an animation we've got him to say something and when the person stops hovering on the object then we're going to turn the animation off as well. Otherwise, once people hover over your characters, they'll carry on doing what they were doing. So let's see if this works. And it doesn't work. We've got a problem. Can anybody spot what it is? He's called Casual Boy 1, and we've done when Casual Boy is hovered. We should have selected Casual Boy 1 instead of Casual Boy, because we've already got a Casual Boy. And you'll also see here, I need to set that to casual boy 1, and at the top, so there's quite a few mistakes. And if you see, there's actually one that I've missed as well. So we're going to have to go back and debug our script. Now let's see if it's worked. And you'll notice that I've actually chosen to move the character into a space where there were fewer things going on. It was a bit cluttered out front. And you'll see here that now I've created an engaging space. And this is a bit of fun, but it also means that you can share information and some of your learning by getting your characters to speak instead of having everything on the wall in text boxes. So now it's over to you. I'd like you to add an object. Remember that object name? I made a mistake there. Turn on using code blocks and then go over to code, add your event, add your action, say something for a certain number of seconds, depending on how long it is. Turn off the animation and then don't forget to test it. It's really important that you experience your space as an audience. 